Welcome to the secrets of your internal fountain of youth. Most of you have probably heard that you've got a set of blood vessels. But how many of you knew that you have another set of vessels that parallels those blood vessels, that's another circulatory system, and that there is more fluid flowing through those other vessels than there is blood in the bloodstream? In fact, they're called lymphatic vessels. We are mostly lymph, unless you look at the body at the molecular level, then we're mostly hot air. But this other set of vessels, most people are looking for something that's right under their nose, and the largest lymphatic vessel in the body is called the thoracic duct. It starts out with some very small vessels that go into larger and larger vessels. They're basically a bunch of tubes. Bigger and bigger tubes until you come up the biggest one, comes right up between the lungs, so it's like a, a tree system in the body. Branches going up in the head, roots going down in the feet, the tree trunk being right in the chest, called the thoracic duct. So, everyone go ahead and stand up. Go ahead and take a deep breath. Come on. I don't have to guarantee it. The lungs just put pressure on the thoracic duct and made it shoot like a geyser, like an oil well. It should be springing up into everlasting life with every deep breath that you take. So that's the first secret of the internal fountain of youth that probably everybody should know about. How much did that deep breath cost you? And how many people can do that for you? In fact, if you're on an oxygen tank, that might encourage you to breathe even more shallowly. <laughs> the thing is, everyone's got a pair of lungs and we all ought to know how to use them. And the biggest part about it, there's lots of different deep breathing techniques out there, but the biggest point is, are we really using our lungs? And there, the biggest difference is whether we're breathing deeply or shallowly. When we take the peak of a deep breath, then the lungs really put pressure on that thoracic duct and make it shoot like a geyser, which is really important because we lose over half of that water from the bloodstream along with the blood proteins uh, the percent that's the smallest blood protein is called albumin. When you crack an egg open and you look at it, the yolk is surrounded with albumin and water. And that's a single cell, just like our body cells, surrounded with lymph fluid. And that's what the blood protein in water is called as soon as they leave the blood. With the blood protein, it's called lymphatic fluid. We lose that 70% that that is the albumin. That's 70% of the blood proteins in the blood. We lose that every 24 hours, approximately. And that's the content that we have to be able to retrieve all the time. Otherwise, we would bleed to death internally in just a matter of hours. So, that's right. All the itises are inflammation, every single one of them. They name them according to where that happens, how it affects that part of the body, or who discovered it. The word tumor comes from his Latin to marry, which means to swell. People are blowing up like a balloon. This reminds me of the ancient Chinese proverb that I have to tell you, where someone is shown a stagnant pond, and they're shown a little stream flowing into that pond. Then they're handed a bucket and asked to commence to drain the pond. At first, they take the steps to empty the pond bucket by bucket. They're designated as having insanity. The truth is, there's a lot of people with this mental illness in our society today. It's a, it's a metaphor, an ancient proverb, basically, for the way that people have been programmed to live their lives. And you ought to not worry about who's running government or who's doing whatever, whatever's happening in the world today. If you want things to change in your life, it's probably not going to be your government leaders that do that for you anyway, no matter who gets elected. You really ought to be focused on right now, if you want to change your life, change you. Reminds me of a friend of mine, Jason Domingo, who just sent out an email uh, with this message just recently. If you want to change your life, change you. Here's one of the things that you can do. You know, it doesn't cost a dime. And how many healing arts have to do with deep breathing? So many things start with the deep breathing. Um, now, if you first take steps to dam the inflow of that stream flowing into that pond, then they're designated as having sanity. That's the power of prevention. It reminds me of Albert Einstein. He said, intellectuals solve problems, but geniuses prevent them. Well, I'm a doctor of preventive medicine. 
And the word doctor comes from its Latin origin, docere, which means to teach. And doctrine means teachings. And a doctor is supposed to be a teacher. It's the truest form of the word doctor. I have to give disclaimers every time I say this, that it's not for anything that would normally require a license. Anything that could hurt someone would require a license normally. So uh, not to diagnose, prescribe, or do anything that would normally be interpreted as uh, requiring a license, but for educational purposes only, okay? So that's what the PMD is all about, the Doctor Preventive Medicine. So anyway, congratulations. Remember to breathe deeply several times a day. If you haven't integrated some deep breathing exercises, techniques, as part of your permanent lifestyle, I highly recommend that you consider that. There's a lot of different ways to do it. Uh, Powerheal.com is just happens to be one of the websites that I recommend, of course. There are a lot of different things that you can start with, but um, get started with something. Congratulations. Have a great day.